my channel. So today I am reviewing the entire line of the Bolt House Farms drinks. Um, I did a review in the past for the Green Goodness. I think the only one that I'm missing currently that I know of is the like carrot juice one. They only had it in like a huge bottle. They didn't have it like in one of these tinier bottles at the store I go to. So, I got all the ones that they had the smaller bottles in except for the Green Goodness because we already know that one was amazing. Uh, it may not have looked the best, but tasted phenomenal. I thought by the looks of it, it would have tasted more like kale or grass or anything like that. But luckily, it was refreshing and tasted amazing. So, I am excited to try these. Uh, we have the more fruit ones over here, the vanilla and coffee line over here. So, I just want to get started on because I'm so excited. Oh, I guess we'll start over here and we'll work our way over here. I will also tell you which one I'm drinking at the time and I will say, you know, what the macros are. And then I'm going to tell you ranked wise which one I like the most, which one I like the least, okay? So let's try it. We're going to start right over here. This one is the Multi V Goodness Cherry. So it says excellent source of fiber per serving. 100% fruit juice smoothie. And then let's see what it has. So it has apples, cherries, bananas, cranberries, blueberries, blackberries, strawberries, pomegranates. Let's look at the ingredient or the nutrition label. So per bottle, it's 11 fluid ounces, 200 calories. Looks like the carbs are at 49. Sugars are at 36, and then one gram of protein. So with these, I would say, you know, if you're trying to watch your carbs, watch your sugar. It may be something that you don't want to do. Um, but for me, when working out, of course great recovery because or even just before because it's a this is going to be a fast acting carb those sugars it's going to be your body's going to metabolize it so much quicker and then it'll use it in your workout or right after when all of your stored energy and your nutrients has been replenished because you just worked out and you're exhausted one of these it's going great so let's give it a try Sniff test. Oh my gosh. It smells like a candle. I think it smells so good. Oh my gosh, let's try it. Mm. Okay. I like it. The flavor in it is really good. It's not like overpowering like how you know other fruit juices can be. Uh, when it's more from a concentrate and way more like added sugars, whereas this will, this is going to be natural sugars. It's flavorful enough, but it, it literally tastes like I'm biting into all those fruits. I can, I can taste all of them and it tastes amazing. Like, Mm. And I like that it's a little thick, not too thick, but I like that it is a little thick because in like my mind, I know that it's going to be thicker because if they did take this from concentrate, if they did take this from a fruit, it's going to have those fibers in there from the fruit extract. So, I like that one. The, the multi me. Okay. So next, Ooh, I should get, let me go get like the water so that way I can like rinse my mouth after everything. Ooh, I got these hydrating alkaline waters. They're really good. Or you can just get normal bottled water, I don't care. Okay, 
So this one is Berry Boost. I'm excited about this one. I love it. It looks really pretty. I love berries. So it's already a winner. And then, okay, so this one, again, 11 servings. 100, 11 servings. <laughs> That's stupid. Uh, 11 ounces. 160 calories, zero fat, 38 carbs, 32 grams of sugar, one gram of protein, and then the fruit that's in it is apples, berries, such as raspberries, blueberries, blackberries, strawberries, and banana. So this one would be really good for potassium. It's 315 milligrams in it, so that's really good. That'd be good for a recovery as well. So if you're cramping, let's give this bad boy a try. It is really pretty. Oh my gosh. They had these uh, popsicles when I was younger and well, they're like icy type things. I don't know if anyone's like tried them. They were in my school and I loved them. But they were like these little like triangular tubes and you just like ripped it open and you just pushed it up they were like tiny and they were berry flavors and everything this is exactly what that smells like i hope there's someone out there that's actually had one of those because those things were amazing and like they just dropped off the side of the earth but they were they were like made with fruit juices but they were like these like paper they were like a cardboard paper type thing and they were like this like triangle shape and you just rip it open and just like this is great it was refreshing it's great for summer we don't want to talk about it summer maybe <laughs> all right sniff test again oh my gosh it smells so good let's try it oh man this one Berry Boost. That's really good. This one has a lot more flavor than the multi V one. Uh, definitely because of the berries. Like, it just tastes like you had a handful of the berries and you're just like, ah. it's amazing. Oh my gosh, it's so good. Okay, moving on. Let's wash our mouth out. I want to know, I want you all to know how entertaining this is right now, that my dog is watching me just like this. Lola! She's my crowd. She's my audience for today. I have another one that's sitting here like right below me. I love my puppers. Alright. Okay, so the next one. What's up next? It's strawberry banana. Oh my gosh. Uh, I get so excited because I love the flavors, like the arrangement of it, and it's just like so far so good. Okay, so with this one, strawberry banana, 180 calories, zero fat, 30 or sorry, 44 grams of carbs, and it has. 38 grams of sugar, one gram of protein, and has strawberries, bananas, pears, and apple in it. Oh. I can smell it. It's not very, it's not a very strong smell. It's not very, like how these, the berry and the multi V were very much more sweet. This one is, this one's not. No, it kind of makes me worried. Like, I want it to taste good. It has to taste good. It's strawberry banana. Like, hello? Oh. The sniff just isn't there completely. But it's okay. It's just a sniff. Let's try. Okay, so this one, it has more of a, I can taste a little bit of strawberry. The banana tastes like it's green though. Like it's a green banana. 
that they've made this with that it tastes like. Not like the the yellow mixed with the brown where it's sweeter. Yeah. It's not bad. It just tastes like I went to a greenhouse like and just started eating there. Which is I don't know how to take that, honestly. So so far, we're gonna put that one right right in the in the three line. I don't really know. It's not bad. I've just had better. Alright. We are moving on into the next one, which is amazing mango with high antioxidants and vitamin C. With this, it has mangoes, apples, and oranges in it. 170 calories, 40 carbs, zero fat, 37 sugar, two grams of protein. We are gonna give this a whirl. Sniff test. Oh, that one smells delightful. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. This tastes amazing. Like, wow. <laughs> That's why it's called amazing mango. <laughs> it really does. It tastes so good. We're gonna just gonna put that in the second place right there. Like, like back it up. You get my lot in order. Okay. Wash it. I like how Lola just sits on the couch. It's like she's a cat. She's always done that. Ever since I've ever had her, she will find a couch, prop herself up on the top, just like the cat loves to look out the windows. It's okay. I always wanted a dog to act like a cat. All right, so up next, we have the Peach Parfait Breakfast Smoothie. Nine grams of protein, 21 minerals and minerals. Vitamins and minerals. I don't even know what I just said. I think I just messed that all up. Um, but this one has peaches, whole grains, and creamy yogurt. So uh, it has 260 carbs, uh, 260 calories, 3.5 grams of fat, 47 carbs, 32 grams of sugar, 9 grams of protein. So this one I would do more in the morning when I can't necessarily make something or I can't even like grab something to pop in the microwave and go. I may just do this. Especially in the summertime because it smells amazing. It has those um, whole grains in there so not only does it have fast acting carbs, the whole grains are a slower acting carb. It'll take your body a longer time to metabolize it so it can keep me a little bit fuller than these will over here. So let's give it a sniff test. It does look pretty. It's like really creamy. Oh, I can smell the peaches and cream, and then at the end of it, it has that like roasted oats and cinnamon top. Oh, mm. it smells just like peaches and cream oatmeal. Oh, no. It's like, yay. What I like about this one is, not gonna lie, the when it's a drink and it says whole grains to me, I kind of get leery of because I'm not sure how it'll taste. Sometimes it can taste less like, I like sweeter things, so if it doesn't taste that sweet, then I tend not to enjoy it as much. This one it is peaches and cream hitting your face with a backbird of the whole grains oats and cinnamon in there and it tastes amazing like I mean it really does it tastes so good I kind of want to use this in recipes for like dessert ideas and stuff wow that really does taste really good hmm I'll put that there all right so we are going to the other side now and we are getting more into the um we are into the vanillas and the coffees now, which I'm excited for because, especially the coffee flavors, I'm a big coffee person and I love it. So, if it tastes like coffee, 
This is normally gonna be a go for me, so we will give it a try. Up first, we have Vanilla Chai. Uh, with this one, it does have nine grams of protein per bottle, 230 calories, five grams of fat, 37 grams of carbs, 34 grams of sugar, and then nine grams of protein. I'm trying to see what this says. Okay, so it says our vanilla chai is a, is a smoothie blend of a brewed green tea, heart healthy soy protein, chai spices, and a hint of vanilla flavor. Mmm. I love chai lattes, chai tea lattes. So I'm excited about this one. Let's sniff it. Mm. Mm. It's not very punchy. Like I can smell the spices, but it's not a lot at all. It's a very hard to smell anything actually. Let's try it. Oh, okay. So even though you cannot really smell it, the taste is so empowering. It's, it's so good. I love that I can, like it's smooth, it's creamy, and you, I mean, it just tastes like a chai tea latte. Mm. Oh, wow. Now that's good. This would be good for some holiday recipes. <sighs> gonna have that one in store. Where do I wanna place it? Gonna lie, we're gonna move it to the third position. What? Okay, that was exciting because that was really good. Mm. Okay, up next we have the vanilla bean protein plus. So with this one, it has 240 calories, four grams of fat, 32 carbs, 28 sugars, 22 grams of protein. So this is a great recovery drink for after working out. It has your sugars and carbs in there to help replenish your energy storages, and then that protein to help build those muscles big and strong. Oh my God, sniff test. Smells like vanilla ice cream. Mm. Okay. So, um, oh, that one has a bite to it. Um, let me do another. So, I definitely can taste the plant protein that's in it. The vanilla is there, but it's more like not like ice cream vanilla flavor but more like how it is in protein powders more you get more of the taste of the protein than you do of the vanilla um oh the aftertaste is not great it, it sits on your tongue like milk does which i guess i get mm. i mean yeah, it's not, I wouldn't say it's awful. Um, I'm not a big, I don't wanna say I'm not a big protein shake person. I'm very picky about the ones that I get because I don't like it if it doesn't mix well. I don't like it because it's chunky and then like the chunks have like sliminess to it because it's like water on the outside and then it's like powdery on the inside and you have to kind of eat it. And then the flavors sometimes just aren't that great anyways. Um, so with this one, I would definitely go over a protein powder. And it's very natural, which protein powders are too. I just, I'm not a fan of it. And I, I believe more people could be. Um, it's just not my preference. So we're going to put that. I'm sorry. Oh, that was not good. All right, 
for Chonicking Positive here for the last two. So we have Mocha Cappuccino. I'm so excited about this one. When I saw it, I was like, <laughs> okay. So it has nine grams of protein, 15% uh, of your daily value of calcium per bottle. And then let's see, okay, so 230 calories, three grams of fat, 41 carbs, and then 38 grams of sugar, nine grams of protein to have. I want to know if it actually has. Okay, so it has caffeine in it because it does say. It does say that it's made with Arabica coffee. So I want to see if it's like shows on here. It has to say how much caffeine it has. There's a lot. I would think it would have to. What if it doesn't? Oh my gosh. I don't think it does. So sad. Okay, so we don't know. It has coffee in there, so it has some sort of caffeine. It must not be too much. Uh, this would be something that obviously I'd probably drink during the day or early morning. It's not. Again, it doesn't have a really big smell to it, which could be a good thing, just like the chai tea did it, and it tasted amazing. So, let's try Oh yeah, yeah. If you like coffee, you'll love this. Oh wow. I mean, it just tastes like exactly what it is. A cappuccino and coffee and mocha. Oh my gosh, it's so good. Wow. Oh, I love coffee, so I'm just gonna flip it over there. All right, so we are on the last one. Where will it go? Where will it go? Well, well not that. Okay, so this one is Protein Plus. It's chocolate. It is 280 calories, four grams of fat, 40 grams of carbs, and 36 grams of sugar, 22 grams of protein, which is amazing. Um, again with this, it makes me a little nervous because it is the protein one. So I'm hoping that it doesn't taste like the vanilla one did. Right. It says a rich chocolate taste though, so I'm hoping that's right. Snip test is not, I can barely smell it, which may be a good sign. Will not know. Let's go ahead and try it. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Way better. Bull Health Farms on your protein one. This one is amazing. Amazing. So, this one's great. Perfect. Um, it does not taste like protein. It just tastes like chocolate milk, which is what I look for in a protein. Like, I want it to taste amazing. I don't like it. The only ones that usually taste amazing are the mass gainers, and I can't drink those. This is great. I love it. Um, this would be for after I work out. Um, I would already go ahead and log this into my nutrition on my, my fitness pal. So I make sure that I know that I have this in there. Oh, this is so good. So I would write this one. I'm going to put it actually right here. Uh -huh. So we have come to a conclusion. Okay. I would say definitely, I would say first place, it depends. I'm gonna say that I have two choices, obviously. It's gonna be the Mocha Cappuccino and then the Berry Boost. I would say these two are first tied because, I mean, not everybody likes coffee and not everybody likes berry. 
So if you love coffee, if you're a coffee freak like me and you love coffee, you will enjoy these thoroughly. Now, if you love berries, that sweetness, and you want to have a sweet fix and healthy, this is amazing. But, I mean, all of these are amazing. I love them, and I would recommend getting them. They're only like a dollar ninety-eight, I think, maybe a little bit less. Um, then the other ones that are out there are like three, close to three dollars or more per bottle. They may be a little bit bigger, but if I can get in most of my nutrients within a smaller bottle, I'm really good. So, ultimately, I'm very surprised that all these taste amazing. The Protein Plus Vanilla one, honestly, I'm not a fan of. It's just too proteinish to me, like protein powder, whereas like the chocolate one is not at all. Like this one was amazing, and this one was I mean, I would drink it over a lot of other proteins, but it was not my go-to. But there we have it, guys. So thank you for joining me on this review. Again, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Hit the like button down below. Comment, share, subscribe. Hit that bell for notifications. And then check me out on Danielle Tucker Fitness on Instagram and Facebook. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.